All right, Bob. Yeah. You've got a famous story about Iggy Pop. How did you first meet Iggy? Tell us everything you have, every detail. Well, there was a chain of pretty hip record stores. Chuck Nassau ran one in Boston at one time. Uh, it, it was really hip. And as a lady had the store, ran, ran the store in Ann Arbor, the discount record store in Ann Arbor. <clears throat> and she would come down and take drum lessons from uh, a famous black drum. I can feel embarrassed. I can't remember his name. I even... Sam Lay? Sam Lay. Thank you. He, she took lessons from Sam Lay. And uh, she came down with friends sometime and did stay at my apartment. My little apartment. I had an apartment that was about a little bit longer than this room. Divided. It was once the living room and dining room of a larger apartment. And I was, uh, like I say, Iggy would come down with this lady, and I'm ashamed I can't remember her name. Uh, and he called once. He said, "Can I?" I'd like to come down with a couple of my buddies to take a drum lessons from Sam Lane. And I said, yeah, sure. Could we stay at your apartment overnight? Yeah, of course. Well, they, they came in. It's uh, a little after midnight, I think. I'm at the far end of the apartment. They're at the, toward the front end. I'm running a temperature. Not really well. I asked him to bring me a glass of water. He pissed in a glass and offered it to him. I threw it at him and I said, You and your fucking stooges, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, he was he was dancing with his two friends. He was totally nude with his genitals behind his legs. And it, 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 I should say that before I, I should redo it. I don't like retakes. <clears throat> so I'm told that that's how he named his band the Stooges. And that's my contribution to rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> Travel. And what year was that, if you if you had to God, choose? I, I really can't remember. Yeah. It was Let's see, I think, well, the store was on Grand Avenue, but that, that happened then until just a few years ago. Yeah. Uh, I would say 60s sometime, possibly mid-60s. Uh, 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 it was just before he made his first record. Which I think was 67, so that would be, yeah, yeah that checks out. Late, yeah. And Two things happened after that. Uh, one is that T-shirt up front. Uh, Ron Biarma was managing the store, and he went to a Meet the Artist event. The artist was Iggy, Iggy Pop, as they called him then. And he asked Iggy for an autograph. And Iggy said, take your shirt off, and I'll autograph your shirt. And that's the shirt. He gave it to me. Another time, somebody else I know met Iggy and said, have you seen Bob Kester? Said, I'm afraid to. <laughs> <laughs> and I would like to get the word to Iggy that I'm not mad at him. <laughs> I gave him for the... And I, I, I want to apologize for kicking him and his buddies, which was probably the Stooges band, uh, out of my house at two in the morning and, and Terrible weather. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's awesome. That's, that's the best story that's in the world. The story. That's my connection to rock and roll. <laughs> Besides recording blues artists. Yay. Is, yeah, that is possibly the greatest story in the world. <laughs> that's awesome. Thank you for that. And uh, are we good here? <laughs>